What is intuition? Well, intuition in simple terms is your inner teacher. And it's never always going to be right, it's never always going to be wrong, but it's going to give you exactly what you need in the moment in order to show you exactly what you need to learn or what you need to experience from a growth and development perspective. And because it's based on your inner teaching, the question is, what is that inner teaching? Is that a culmination of what everybody thought you should be from when you were younger? Is that a case of you've done enough work on yourself in order to have your own setup, structure, and subsequent way of being in order to then maximize, obviously, your choices and your actual guidance system? So for many of us, we actually get to the position whereby we have to go through a set of processes. And these processes then teach us exactly what we need in the moment in order to then get to a position whereby we can then learn from the experiences. And then once we've learned from those experiences, we can then apply that knowledge and that learning in order to then get feedback from the external environment as to exactly where we are in the moment and potentially any next steps that then need to be focused on. But when we've had trauma, when we've had poor upbringings, when we've had conditions that aren't optimal for us, we then subsequently have to then go back to reviewing exactly what that inner guidance is. And that inner guidance may not be beneficial for us, but then we have a crossover or an overlap into what's referred to as trusting the process and divine timing. And when we have a look at trusting the process, you yourself, you are the process. And because you are that process, then the question is, what steps need to then be taken in order to then get to the position whereby you can then maximize the output of you being that very process. So going back to the original point of what is your intuition, your intuition then becomes the sum of all of your previous experiences and also overlapping into exactly how much work you've done on yourself in order to then create your own reality based on exactly what you're looking to experience. So if there's things that aren't working, then how do we then get to the position of understanding that if they don't work, then we need to change them and we need to do some work on that front in order to then get to a position whereby it can be fully functional for us. And the original starting point is basically to have a look at exactly what it is that you're doing and bring a level of awareness to it because awareness is key to the very first part of that process. And when we have a look at bringing awareness to it, the question then becomes how much work needs to be done based on that level of awareness.